My name is Kaden James, I'm year 10, and this is my presentation on the spelling dissection. This spelling is the first book was it? Dissection is a learning difficulty which is involved in difficulty in reading, interpreting words, and other symbols. First of all, that, to end this, dyslexia does not have anything to do with anyone's intelligence. Okay, symptoms of dyslexia pretty much um, serve speech development, unable to remember the right words to say at certain times, mixing up words for a number like six instead of nine, nine. Um, poor handwriting. Some for adults would be avoiding reading tasks, difficulty in reading, especially reading out loud, problem spelling, trouble learning foreign words, language. Okay, how can you treat something like that? For young people, treating sex can in many ways. The way I got treated with sex was pretty much that I my mom went to school and asked teachers for help. Another way you can help them that like you can get specialists coming in to help students have one-to-one -one support. And then the other way is you can just keep in contact with your teacher, ask them how they was in this reading class today. Um, just stuff like that in general, like have more eye contact with the student. Make sure you're paying attention to what they're doing, make sure they're on top. Okay, the way that the view the, the public view this bed, this bed in public, that every bed to be real to you, is pretty much viewed by the same way by the public. It, uh, if you see someone walking on a sex yard, you don't know that way, you think they're a normal person. But then if someone actually told you, you can't even lie, people, everyone will think they're special in a certain way, they can't do that, or something around that area. So pretty much that, it's, in my opinion, it's unfair for people with sex yard, that they're seen as, not dumb, but like, they're seen as they're special, if that makes sense. That they can't do certain things and reading and writing, just they're going to struggle with. So uh, that it affects their ideas, that it just doesn't affect what they think, it just affects the way they present it. So then, how do people with sex actually feel about this? People with sex are there, they feel like self, they're not self confident because they mess up words, they're scared to read out loud because they're going to mess up this word and get laughed at. So it has a big impact on the people they're around and themselves, obviously, because they don't want to get laughed at. That this can affect through the life of school, because it might happen in primary school, you mess up a word a lot while reading out loud in class, then it'll just carry on to this point you don't feel comfortable reading out loud to people. So then when you come to secondary school, you're just going to be the person who sits at the back quiet and get engaged with learning. <laughs> so these are some famous people you have to spend the sex yard. Such people as um, Richard Branson, Jane Oliver, Tom Cruise, all these people had the sex yard, but they still made it through life. They're living a free life, which is wealthy, and pretty much that's my presentation on spend, the spend the sex yard. Oh, any questions? Yes, sir. Uh, where do you feel that uh, say people can like really like come up and like be shining one or more? Where do you think they're really like strong? Depends on what you're saying. They're very intelligent, most of them. This the way they present the ideas are difficult, so it'll take them a lot more it'll be a lot more harder for them to come up in life so they can't present the ideas straight. Okay. But they can make it at the end of the day. Do you think they can be like more creative than a normal like, person rather than actually go? Some can be. Any other questions? Well, yeah, that was my presentation on the space.